Next at nine, Wade's out, Jason's in. Is Jerry's head coaching move enough to turn the Cowboys around? This is about going forward. The Cowboys culture gets new direction tonight from Arlington to Valley Ranch. Jerry Jones replacing Wade Phillips with Jason Garrett. We start tonight with the 33's Dave Crome. He's live at Valley Ranch where the interim head coach just wrapped up a press conference. Dave. He's been the head of a team who's won only one game, making the Cowboys one of the worst in the league. And with a 35-24 record, including playoff games, many fans are finished with the Wade era. The 33's Duarte Geraldino talked to the Silver and Blue faithful today. What do they have to say, Duarte? Give me your thoughts on his long-term success. A lot of people think he's just in there to get through the rest of these eight games, and then if there's no collective bargaining agreement and we don't have games next year, they're going to fire him and maybe bring in a Cower or a Gruden. I think we have to take Jerry Jones at his word, at least for now. Wade never suited up and went out in the field. You know, how much blame does Wade really get? How much is placed on the players? Oh, I think uh, the blame, there's so much of it, and it should be spread equally. Okay, Christy Scales, sideline reporter for Dallas Cowboys Radio. Thanks for joining us tonight. The 33TV.com is your 24-hour source for the latest on this coaching change. For photos, new developments, leave your comments with us on the 33TV.com. And big story, DFW, can you be unarmed and dangerous? Twice in two weeks, Dallas police have shot and killed unarmed men. In the latest case, a mentally ill man was shot 23 times. Tonight, officers involved remain on administrative leave, and the 33's Don Tongish joins us now with more on this. Don. Walt, it will be up to a grand jury to decide if... A lot at stake. What will the Cowboys world be like with Garrett's stamp on it? The 33's Barry Carpenter has a look ahead at the next eight games. Barry headed to the center of the sports rant world, 105.3 The Fan. He joins us live from the stadium tonight. Barry. The social networking sites have been blowing up all night with Cowboys talk and Wade's firing. Let's start with Neon Dion and his tweets tonight. This is what he says. He sent out this tweet earlier today. Wade fired. I don't like it, but it is what it is. To set a real example, fire some highly paid players who ain't doing a thing. Truth. LeBron is a big Cowboys fan, and King James sent out this tweet tonight. We want Coach Cower or Coach Gruden. No one else is ready for that task, and I know they will command respect right off the top. Let's go. And there have been hundreds of comments on the Dallas Cowboys Facebook fan page. This is one we got tonight. It went like this from Cherie Rickman. She says, the fact that Wade Phillips is gone will not make any difference unless the next coach we get will not allow Jerry Jones to make him his puppet, too. Officials in Wilmer are trying to figure out what caused a fire that destroyed part of an historic theme park. It happened around 3 this morning at Old Fort Dallas. The park's general store and a couple smaller businesses were lost. One old fort there was part of an entire 1800s town with about 40 buildings. No one was injured. Another small earthquake rocked the town of Cleburne last night. The U.S. Geological Survey confirmed the 2.5 quake around 10 last night. It was centered about 10 miles south southwest of Cleburne, and it's not the first time residents have experienced a quake in the town. Crazy little thing called web. Crazy little thing this web. A new web browser launched today that has a social twist. It's called Rock Melt, and it's built on the idea that most online activity revolves around socializing. Rock Melt lets users keep up with family and friends, make plans and appointments, and mold web browsing around their own personal interests. Should teen sexting be classified as a misdemeanor crime? The Attorney General says it should be, but as the 33's Giselle Phelps shows us, others don't think that punishment fits the crime. A little bit of a warm up, but it's still yeah. chilly at Valley Ranch. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> Thanks for watching the 33 News at 9. We'll be back tomorrow at 5.